Okay, so it's Wednesday and I've just finished filming um, a 20 minute film, that's all. I am not feeling very well. Um, and we're going out in an hour, so I'm just I'm just gonna quickly clear the desk um, and then call it a day. So I've not been in the room. I've not been in my room all day today, a couple of 20 minutes or so this morning. Um, I didn't get to, I didn't get to do any yesterday because I wasn't feeling very well and Monday I was just so busy doing everything that I've not done anything at all for the vlog so um I don't know if you can see my desk there I might need to put you down a little bit um I've, I've done some Etsy um hang on a minute can you see my desk I don't know maybe oh <laughs> slanty oh dear that's not good is it yeah I did a bit of Etsy packaging so I've got some of that to Packing up to put away. Can you see? You can see a bit more now, I think. A little bit. You might be at a strange angle, but um, it's not too bad, but it, you know, it's a mess. So uh, I take this down whenever I've finished filming because I find it very encumbersome. Is that the word? I find it in my way a lot. <laughs> um, you know, when I'm working on my desk. So yeah, there's a lot, of, there's a lot of stuff here that won't take me too long to pack away. Um, but I want it packed away so that when I come in tomorrow, if I'm not feeling well again, it's not a chore to sit down and do something. So first thing I'm going to do is uncover all the stuff from my filming, which can all just be packed away. Now, hopefully tomorrow I'll be filming the same thing. So I will um, yeah, I'll be getting it all out again, but I'll try, try and keep it all together in a bag. <laughs> I won't add the tie, so I won't show you it. Um, yeah, just so that I can, I can easily move it onto a top or a side somewhere and get it all out again tomorrow. Um, I've tried various, I've used boxes, I've used file folders, all sorts, just depends how I'm feeling at the time. Um, and how long it's going to stay away. And this one's going to be out um, most days until it's done, so. Um, so yeah, it's fine in there. Get rid of all my cloths and get some new ones out. So this is the stuff from packaging up this morning. Um, I don't really know that I've got anything else to tell you. So I'll just leave you watching me tidy up and then decide if I want to show you it or not, <laughs> I guess. If you can see up here, this is where my scissors all hang. Somebody said to me in a comment that I'm very organised. <laughs> I think I'm just get, getting there. I wouldn't say that I was very organised. Um, just wheel my chair a bit out of the way. Get my glues back. Great that draw for the dobbers. Brilliant. I've got on my table here, I don't know if you can see, is all this lace that needs sorting out. Still. This journal that I need to finish. It's got a, a dead cup of tea here that needs to go downstairs. And I have a little hook under my desk here that I have paper notelet things on. I'll write myself notes. And hang it on a hook. <laughs> the only way I don't lose it. So I can go there. That can just sit there ready for tomorrow, hopefully. And then at the side here I've got my laptop. One rubbish. And all the papers that I need to sort out that have been squashed under the books. Some more. Under here. Oh. So somebody suggested, um, Claire suggested that I put some of my coffee dyed papers onto Etsy um, and maybe some lace snippets which I thought was quite a good idea. I had thought about the paper to be honest um, and decided against it um, because I didn't think anybody would be interested in my coffee dyed paper but I might just try a small, a couple of small packs on Etsy and see see how that goes. 
I, I usually chuck stuff on the chair when I uh, when I finish filming. I go around mostly and pick everything up off the floor. Oops. And um, that should have been in Tanya's little Etsy parcel, not Etsy mail parcel. I forgot to put it in. That's the book that I've got everybody's name and address in that I send things to. Oh, that's me. That's me Etsy stuff. Another fussy cut on the floor. Um, so this is net that I wrap things on that I post and some bubble wrap. And these both go in the big cupboard, which I don't think you'll see today. <laughs> you'll see it soon because I was telling, who was I telling? Was it Julie? I can't remember. Anyway, I was telling somebody that I would show them where I, uh, where and how I keep all my lace. And uh, there's quite a lot of it in that cupboard. That's the back of the parcel and things up. And that's my fussy cup still waiting to be done. So you've not really seen an awful lot today, but um, yeah, you've seen the room and you've seen me. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully. Right, it's Thursday. I am... Um... Just popping on to uh, just share some happy mail that Tanya sent me a parcel and um, I'm just doing one little task of tidying this out today. Um, it's afternoon and I haven't filmed yet. I am going to do a bit of filming but that, that's it. I will only be in here probably an hour and a half at the very most. Um, I'm still poorly. I'm quite breathless. I noticed on the videos I'm breathless and I am um, more breathless than usual. Um, got a bit of a sore throat, just feel grotty. Um, I was fine at the pictures, but I really want very well when we come home. Um, so, yeah, I'm doing the right thing. I'm resting. I know you're all saying take care of yourself, whatever. Thank you so much. I really appreciate all the lovely comments, and I am. Um, I just want to share. I know you like to see my happy mail, and that there really does seem to be no time to show it. Um, you know, during the ordinary video, so it is something that I can, I can do now on a, a fairly, fairly regular basis. I don't do it too often, and. And boy, you silly, but um, yeah, it's nice to be able to show you things as I get them in and see and hear my excitement. Um, yeah, it's always a it's always a lovely package from Tanya. <clears throat> she spoils me, as you know. Um, so I, I, have, I did have a quick look last night. I got it yesterday, but a very very quick look, and I wasn't really with it. So uh, yeah, I can have a better. I don't know how close you want to be. I'm going to just have a real good look. The table looks a bit strange. Um, these are gorgeous, aren't they? Um, I'm not sure what these are from. Some of them I know where she's got them from. This one I'm not sure. It'll be something that I've I've seen and forgotten about probably. Um, yeah, they're really nice. These are going to be nice with oh maybe those portrait um, photos in the kit I'm using would that one would wouldn't it? What kit am I using of Tanya's? Um, mm -hmm. Elegant botanicals. Yeah. There's those lovely photographs of those four beautiful ladies. I'm going to put those two because it's on the side of me. I'm going to put them with that. Send it, print them out small. It'll be beautiful in there. Um, and I'm going to keep these in a drawer with my Tim Holtz bits. So I don't forget about them. That's the thing about, you know, when I get happy mail. I, I'm getting tidier, so I'll put everything away tidy and then I forget about it. I've seen Tanya use this on quite a few of her things. Now, I did notice, um, let me have a good dig through and... She sent me some old patterns, which are, I mean, these ones with the drawings, I love. I love the front, um, you know, to use the actual, gosh, that's a sort of skirt I would wear <laughs> when I was younger. Um, uh, yeah, to use the, the actual front. So when it's a photograph like that, not so much, but of course, it's full of wonderful stuff inside and the back's quite nice as well. Oh, look at the colour of that. That's, I'm not going to drag it all out, but yeah, that's gorgeous colour, isn't it? So yeah, the pattern inside is nice. Yeah, they're all really dark. Oh, lovely. Um, but those those three, I'll use the front. So even though they're written on, that doesn't... Someone's written the chest size and... Um, well, I sat on that one, I think, didn't I? Look how many yards of material it wants at what width. Great, thank you. Um, but yeah, I was thinking there's a few bits like this. There's a bit of this... Um, that's nice, isn't it? Uh, hang on, bear with me and I'll, I'll drag it, drag it over. Seeing as my brain's not saying. Look at 
Oh, that's nice. That's kind of like handmade paper, sort of. Maybe it is, I don't know. Um, it's more of that lovely, what would you call it, tissue paper? Ooh. Oh, yeah, I've seen this. They have this at the antique centre. They wrap um, stuff up in it when you... Yeah, it's quite good, that, isn't it? But that's not really this. Oops, sorry, I knocked you. I'm thinking this this that um, you glue down and you can see through. That's a nice one, look. Like grid paper. Yeah, I'm not going to put it away. I might put those two big bits away because they're going to be nice for... Well, either, either covering 12 by 12s, aren't they? Or even for wrapping things in. They're both nice. And that one's kind of... Well, late summer, early autumn. That one's any time. But these little bits, I'm not going to put away. Oh, a piece of, piece of William Morris. Yes. I've had a piece of this before off her. I think it's got a backing on it, hasn't it? Yeah. Actually, there's a lot of that one, so I will, I will save that one. Um, ooh. One with the back off. <laughs> oh, two with the back off. Oh, no, it's one big one. Okay, so that, you know, so these scrappy bits, I'm not, I know it's not really a scrappy bit, but you know what I mean, not the entire thing. I'm not going to put them away, I am going to put them on um, a master board. These, these can go away, right, let's, let's look at them. What beautiful yellow colour that is, that's gorgeous. Again, that would go with what I'm doing at the moment. No, too much yellow in it, it wouldn't. Yellow and pinks, ooh. Oh, look at that. That's gorgeous. Oh, this one's got the back off as well. But it's a full one. That wants to be for a blue project, doesn't it? So they're the ones that you've... Um, yeah, I'm going to keep these here. I'll have to find something to put them on so I don't lose them. And um, yeah, I'm going to stick them on things straight away. What am I going to do with this? It's nice stuff, isn't it? It's been nice in a grungy journal. Sorry if I'm whispering, I am, I'm trying to save my throat. It doesn't hurt a lot, but it, it is weak. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm not thinking about what I'm doing. I'll put that with the patterns for now. Let me do the other stuff before I open those vellum. I love these vellum pieces that she sends me. Well, these are nice. I've got like the coffee, if you can see them. I've got like coffee cup rings on them. I love coffee cup rings. Well, they all have so they must have come together in something flower flower and sons brewers oh stratford upon avon lovely lovely place love stratford some nice shops there yeah love the vellums absolutely now i think she gets them in a what's i know one's the grabby uh, kits that she gets because they're here what's the other one called I need to put these away while i've got them while i'm sat being organized I've got a little packet that the vellum goes in. I think this is it, it is. Um, is it Taperology? There's another one. There's another one that she does. So it'll be out of one of those. Not Taperology, what's the... You uh, you probably all know, I bet you're shouting it out at me. I can't remember what it's called now. Anyway, you probably know, if you know that she does them, you know that she has um, you know, vouchers for money off in her name as it were so these are from the newish one which is the grabby packages um i saw her undo these this is a a vellum envelope that something came in it's got the grabby um logo on it there and bunnies and easter but you could very easily or i could very easily cover the easter and the grabby bit on that and it's a gorgeous gorgeous um envelope however I do like things like this to keep. I might keep these it's Easter. Gosh, I can't talk the Easter bits in it because she sent some here. So yeah, I might keep that as my um my keeping the Easter bits in kind of thing. So this is another packet from Grabby. And have they all got Easter on them. No, that one hasn't. So maybe these two can be saved as well for Easter. Come out, come out. Yeah, so they say Easter on them. Wonder if they'll fit in there. I'm just trying to, oh, they will. I'm trying to be organised. So I can have a little bag of Easter stuff ready to just grab out. Oh, these are lovely and thick. 
yeah they are easter eggs a nest right not necessarily easter eggs aren't like that are not just easter are they they're well they're spring because that's when the birds in the uk come i think that's an easter egg come and um maybe not <laughs> Come and lay their eggs, I think, is spring, isn't it? So they can be spring, they don't have to be Easter. I think these are Eastery ones, so let's separate them up. I mean, they could be spring, those. Yeah, I mean, they're clearly Easter eggs, and they are. They're just birds' eggs, aren't they? So, yeah. Definitely Easter eggs. So I might as well sort them and put them away now. But the the card stock they made of is gorgeous. It's lovely and thick. Um, yeah, they're proper egg coloured eggs. Look, I think you're an Easter one. No, who can be spring? Yeah, we'll make the pink ones Easter eggs, I think. Yeah, and the oh, you can be an ordinary egg. <laughs> a good egg. You can be a good egg. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's get one thing sorted at a time. Okay, so those are definitely Easter. So I'm going to put these in this Easter package. And there, these are spring. Right, what's in here? Let's... Oh, I did see these and thought how gorgeous they are. Aren't they gorgeous? She did say something about doing a, um, some baby animals. Hmm. I'm saying nothing. <laughs> That's nice. Who was it that said they had the first hummingbird to me in the comments? Hmm. Was it D? I forget now. Anyway, someone said to me they've had the feeder out and they've had the first hummingbird. How lovely. We don't have hummingbirds. As far as I'm aware, in the wild in the UK, I might be wrong. We certainly don't have them around here where I am. Beautiful. But that, look at the brown eyes on that. Oh gorgeous lovely toppers yeah might have to use one of those um keep that out let's put spring in here then because it's chickens and eggs oh these are those are they rub ons or are they stickers i always get it wrong i think they're rub ons no nope. I'll have to play with them off camera because the minute I stop filming I'll I'll take that off there and when I'm filming I can never do it whichever they are stickers or rubbons they're gorgeous oh so Easter bunny I've got grey hair stuck to me there did you see it Easter bunny oh but he's just a bunny he's got eggs so he's Easter can you see how I'm He's just a bunny. It could be either, but you can be either. Spring. Oh my goodness, look at that chick. Yeah, they're more spring, aren't they, than Easter. I think anything with an egg on it like that and the bunny. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> oh, so cute. Yeah, you don't have to be Easter. There's not more. There's a bigger version of him. You can probably see that better. Wow. He's lovely. Do you remember when I did the Easter bonnet one? Was it in Tina's? I think it was. The paper. Yeah, they're spring. They're not just Easter. They'll be coming out all through spring next year. And that one, I think. <laughs> right, stop. Uh, I think I'm going to go Easter eggs with the... The baskets and the bunnies and the eggs, I think the three together just say Easter, don't they? And that one because it's got all the multicoloured. I'm just making it up as I go along. If they look really like Easter eggs, oh, I'm putting them with the Easter crowd. There's a lot there as well. Okay, so your springtime and your Easter. I'll have to put a, a note on this one saying spring. It'll be a nice surprise when I get to them again, won't I? They're going to go in my labels drugs because I'm going to have a play with those. I'll show you what I do. Oh. This is lovely. I was looking at this last night when I opened it. I don't know. It's like from an old 
computer, I'm guessing, or, oh, I'm wondering about something medical, you know, the machines where they put blood pressure printouts and things on. It's very interesting. Love that. Definitely going to keep that to hand. That and those. These are going to be filed away, and that's going to be filed away. I need to stay, need to stay tidy. Um, look at that beautiful page. Now, I don't know which book this has come from. I do know that she shows her books. Oh, there's another one. Oh, I didn't see that. Aren't they gorgeous? She knows I love the roses. They're beautiful drawings. Yeah, I don't know that book at all. I wonder what book it's come out of. Catkins on the back. The Yellow Roses. Love, love those. It'd be a shame to fold them over, wouldn't it? I mean, those ones. No, look, we're cutting the top off it. I might have to do a tall skinny just for the roses. Mm. And put those just on top of my papers for now while I have a think about them. And did I show you? I think I showed you everything now. Some nice thick washi and look what's on it. Roses, beautiful, beautiful roses. I don't know if you can see the... I wonder if this is from Grabby, I can't remember now. Beautiful shelves. Anyway, so that's it for that. All I need to do is this now. So I'm assuming you want to look. I do this at least once a week with this pot, thinking, putting it into little sections and thinking right i'm going to do this with this i'm going to sew these on pages there's quite a few of those <laughs> that i haven't got to this week so what i really need to do is put the actual lace away where it belongs so under my hang on this is like my grab this is where i need to move you up a lot this is like my under under the desk, I guess, grab box of lace. I've shown you it before, I'm sure, and I've got like whites in one and all the pink type things in there, although that doesn't look very pink to me. Blues, greens, yep. Yeah. So these little bits like this can all go away in here. So I'm gonna move this to the side a little bit, um, just so that I can use it. And put these things where they belong. What happens is I get them out for a project and then they end up just being bunged in there, which is fine. It, you know, it, it contains them. But I need to go through it then and put them away. Right, that's what that's got in there is my special bits, my extra special bits. For some reason, put them in with the pinks. Come back on there while I find some more. Let's trim. Mm, see, I don't know I'm going to, where I'm going to keep it. I need to think about it. I've got a few trims in here now. This, I think I've got a, a cream and, yeah, it's there. The cream and coffee dyed and crocheted go in here. You know, the smaller bits like this. So I've got a few bits like that. That one. Now they're too small. I want actual... Oh, love that. Got a big piece of that somewhere. Would you say that was white? It's kind of off-white, isn't it? In there. Okay, let's put those out of the way and get a few more. So this pink one I got out for the journal I'm working on at the moment. Look, and I've just not put it away. Oh, see, I just can't take a big deep breath. I don't feel like I've got I don't know, pneumonia or anything like that. It's not that bad. <laughs> but, um, oh, that beautiful string. Maybe we'll put strings and tabs and things in here for now. Yeah, there are, these are things that are not really, they're not lace, are they? But they're trims. That's what they are, trims. I'm sure I do. I'm sorry, shall I have a a bag got hooked with all my ribbons and bits on i'll be i will be getting these out soon because i'm going to make a um going to make a lovely big tassel in fact you'll have seen it won't you by now organza i couldn't think what that was called when i was showing you it um for the yes what am i making a big tassel for these are all bits right let's 
and you're a full piece. I haven't got a purple one. Do I need a purple one? Shall I put them in with blues? We'll put purples in with blues. Yeah, what am I making a tassel for? Finish what you were saying, Denise. Um, yeah, the journal that I'm doing for Tanya. Elegant Botanicals, that's it. I'm going to make a lovely tassel for it. But like I say, I'm assuming... That's a long piece as well. I'm assuming you've seen it by now, but I don't know. That's the same stuff. Cream. There we go. Cream. Crocheted. Your cream. A bit more crocheted. I mean, it is, it's not really sorting them out, is it? But they're in, they are in colours now. That's cream. What happens is when I want some cream, you see, I'll get five or six or seven pieces out of here. That's how they all hen, end up kind of here. Because I don't put them back again. <laughs> There's some pink. Did I have another pink one out somewhere? Um just a bit so you're a piece of my special really special ones go in there you're pink but you're very small i think i probably saved that out for a page what am i going to do with orange well, i think that's probably the best place for orange don't you would you put it with coffee dyed i'm gonna leave it with pink because it stands out and that means i'll see it oh, that's a big one isn't it that's a very vibrant green. It's got a little bit of stretch in it as well. I've had that one a while. I don't use it very often. I think because it's so bright, but it will it will just suddenly match a project and that will be it. I'll be I'll be away with it. It's only more green, yes. I think that came in a charity shop bag. I've got lots of that one. It's okay, that's that. I've probably been on there way too long for a blog look, 20 minutes. But, um, yeah, I didn't do one Monday or Tuesday, so we'll be all right. So white. Anyway, I'll, I, what I'll do, I'll stop the camera, I'll, I'll square it all up, and then I'll just show you it at the end. Oh, I'm having a, a hot hot temperature moment. So um, I've sorted them all out. Let's see if I can uh, show you what I've got. So I didn't think I had much lace you know, grabbing lace under here, but I have. I might take that black out and put it somewhere, actually, because I don't grab the black very often. Um, and that silver string there. Oh, some more pink there I've escaped. Oh. Um, good job I turned you off when I did, because the dustman just came by. So I'll have that on the top. So my pink I grab all the time. I'm leaving this one out. I'll tell you why in a minute. Um, that sort of white and off-white one I grab quite a lot. Green not so much, but I do. The blue one. Um, I realised I had one with lots of uh, crocheted in, so I took the crocheted out of that, this one, and put it in there. I have a couple of pieces, big ones rolled up, look, that fit in the side. Um, this one was all the, like, tie fastings and things. I do I do sometimes grab, grab for those. I suppose they could go in another one, actually. I might leave those out. I don't want too much under here. This this is a lovely reel of pink that Tanya gave me. It was massive. I use it for all sorts and everything. So that is staying in there. And this is, like I say, my, my favourite little pretties. There's not so many left now. I might be after uh, might be after Angie if she's got any to, uh, to get me another bag. Um, Angie is Weasel on Etsy and Angie Beaumont. She is... Um, YouTube and I think she's on Vinted in the UK but I've, I don't do Vinted um, yeah I get lots of lovely lace off her when she has it so don't beat me to it though <laughs> so yeah I'm going to put these away in the cupboard in um, another one of my lace bags a bigger one so that I've got less less going on underneath so that is quite manageable now I'm quite pleased with that obviously this needs to go in but um, I've decided what have I got in here so I've just got a few little snippets of oddments in there which I will leave those um what did I call those tapes and tabs and strings and things and a few little you know Miss Nommers is that the name or is that when you give something the wrong name I don't know anyway that's what it is bits that I'm not sure what to do with yet oops 
and then I've got all these pieces of cotton on, which I think I've been using for tabs and things like that. I think I'm going to, I'm not going to put them away because I never get things out again. I think I'll probably just sit and make a patchwork out of those and then they can go on a cover. Um, not today, obviously, but then I'll, these are the bits that I didn't put away that I was left with. Um, I'm going to make um, a snippet roll, a big one. So there's some fabric there, look, that I'm going to put it onto. Because um, I think I said, did I say in yesterday's vlog? I think I did. Um, was it Claire? Claire said to me, um, yeah, have you thought about putting your snippet rolls up for sale? Which I haven't. I thought about the papers, but not the snippet rolls. So I'm going to make a couple and put them in Etsy and see if anyone's interested. Um, and this I need to take apart. Um, I just don't like it. I've had it a long time. I don't like it on the, what's it called that it's on? The header, is it? I suppose that, yeah, the header. You can see I take it off to use it. And it is lovely lace once it comes off. Like it like that. Don't like it like that. Um, and I've obviously made a start, but I need to finish getting all that off there so I can fold it up nice and neatly and proper. But And then some of it can probably go in there. So that needs doing. It's not going away. That needs doing. I might do that tomorrow because Neil's going to work tomorrow. Might come in in the morning and, and get on with that. And I'm going to put, because this is full, bursting. So I'll take some out of here to also go on the snippet and I'll show you it tomorrow. So whether I'll get that patchwork done tomorrow or not, I don't know. But I better uh, sign off for now because I've got to film and, you know, it's a vlog. OK, just for those of you that are interested in my lacy hoard, I'm about to make a couple of snippet rolls. Um, to try them on Etsy. So this is what my desk looks like at the moment. That's with it all corralled. Nothing is out of its bag particularly yet. So I'll let you know how I get on. Okay, I got my snippet roll done. I don't I don't think I said to you what day it was. It's, um, oh gosh, do I know what day it is? It's Friday, yeah. So I've done um, just about a two metre, oh, do you want my hairs in it? Piece of snippet roll. I've done it quite wide. Um, this is one that I'm going to attempt to sell. I don't know, it's a bit thinner at that edge, isn't it? It's, um, but it's roughly, because it's got the lace hanging over. Yeah, it's about four inches, the fabric at that side, and yeah, nearly five inches at that side. So it's quite a thick piece. And I'm going to, I'm going to hand sew some, some uh, vintagey buttons on it now. So yeah, looking at how long it's taken me to make and the amount of lace that's in it and hand sewing the buttons, I don't know. I think, Oh, I don't know, what about £9 for half a metre, I think. And, you know, that will be not really covering the time I've spent on it. But, yeah, I might have to put the first one up at £9 for half a metre, I suppose. And then see if anybody wants it. It'll That's the thing with selling things, isn't it? it it'll find its own price, I guess. OK, I just thought you'd want to see it. I'm not going to uh, sit and chat to you while I sew buttons because... You know, I might, I might prick my finger. <laughs> um, I'll show you it's when it's done and I'll be back later. Hello. <laughs> I, um, yeah, I was going to do quite a bit with you today, but it's very hot and I've got to have the windows closed because there are um, some rather noisy boys next door but one corner house. Um, playing outside noisy, shouting and bawling and I don't, I'm not quite sure what they're doing, but yeah, I don't want it on the video. So, um it will be a quick one. There's not an awful, I'm steaming my glasses up, look, it's that hot. It's not an awful lot to, um, uh, to wrap up really. And I've still got tomorrow's uh, vlog. So it is Saturday evening. I've not long since finished um, filming this one. You'll have seen it by the time you see this vlog. I've not stuck the butterfly on it yet. Um, and off camera, I've been working on using up some more of my hard pages and I've been making this. So you, I think you saw a quick, hmm, I might have shown you it in today's video actually, I don't know, I can't remember, but it's a Laura Ashley wallpaper page that uh, Tanya sent me, so see inside, and it's a big page of, now was it A2, is A2 bigger than the A4, twice the size as A4, I think, I might be wrong, um, yeah it's A2 size, did I say it's going to be mine, it's going to be mine, um, I'm going to make it into an ideas journal, which is funny because I've been talking to Tamara um, in the comments and she said something about making one of the makes I made um, ready to go in her ideas journal. So yeah, great minds. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a lovely, lovely journal, isn't it? And I'm going to, I've got a piece of lace snippet left, look. Um, 
that I didn't put in the shop it's it's not quite um half a half a meter so um it's too big I'll have to trim it down but yeah I'm gonna put it on the um I'm gonna put it on the spine it's gonna be gorgeous won't it um and yeah I've got five signatures to go in it but look at the size of it I've not long since glued the inside so I'm not going to sew them on now so you won't you won't get it to see see it today. You might see it tomorrow. I don't know if I get it if I get it stitched in. I'll show you. I'll show you it tomorrow. But I've got um, big pages and um, ones that I like because it's going to be an ideas book. It's not going to be written in. If I need to write any ideas down, I'll put it on paper and, and glue it in. So I've got um, a page of twelve by twelve um, scrapbooking card you know one one for the outside of each signature and then i've got lots of my lovely book pages that i love so i've got um my liberty can you see them all they're a bit shiny but that's fine because all that's going to happen to them that's not them <laughs> that is um is they're going to have things stuck on them so that's fine there's three there are there are five of them somewhere gorgeous aren't they and then i've got a great big i had a great big cunard um white star cunard book shiny I've never known what to do with it I have used bits of it over the years but it's got all these gorgeous um images in it and uh, it's just the right size for those so I've got five of those and um, a lot of them I've chosen are the um advertising posters but they've got some lovely historic pictures on the back could get more in if I found what I thought was I'll have five signatures and um, perhaps 10 pages in each so that would only be 50 well only 50 it's 50 pages but um, you know if it's an ideas book it's gonna have a lot of ephemera in it isn't it so uh, yeah that's my idea for that I haven't tidied my room up it's a pigsty and um, the bed behind you is covered in junk <laughs> uh, the floor is hmm. The floor was clean and tidy yesterday because Neil Neil hooved it up for me, but uh, not anymore. I um, I'm better, a lot better than I was. Although I still not got a lot of energy, but yeah, I'm a lot brighter than I was, and um, yeah, I'm on the mend. So I don't know if I had anything else to tell you or not. Like I say, I was going to go on, come on, and and do some of that with you, but with the window the window closed and the sun. It's a beautiful day. The sun is beating on both windows, so. Um, yeah, I'll call that I'll call that a a vlog for today and hopefully someday we'll get some peace and quiet to, to wrap the week up. But thank you so much for um being with me through the vlog, especially those that, that last right till the end and yeah, hopefully I'll have something interesting tomorrow. <laughs> okay, I hope you're all well. So it's um what day is it? So Sunday, it's Sunday, so it's the last day of the vlog. I'm just coming on to show you what I've been doing with this and then I will um, finish up I'll pop on later and um, round round up the week but I just wanted to show you this before I put this snippet lace on it because um, I've stitched the signatures in I'll show you them in a minute I've stitched the signatures in and I absolutely love those strings there like that if I'd have strengthened it a bit more I'd have probably left those and put lots of jewels hanging down but yeah I didn't you know I had the intention of putting something on there when I made them it's a shame but it's it's beautiful on there as well look absolutely beautiful um when i say strength i didn't mean the spine particularly yeah i'll show you it later when i've glued it on because it'll, it'll need a while and they'll lie to stick um because i'm going to glue it around the front and the back like that and what i haven't um done is put any extra strength in there um, i could put tape or something over it you can see it's not coming up but it's not quite stuck down in places but as that opens and closes a lot it's going to get a lot of a lot of use and um yeah I, I could have reinforced it more if I wanted to leave it open but I'll remember for next time I'm thinking I might do a five signature not as big as this one but I might do a five signature journal with you if you'd like to see one um <clears throat> I love it inside yeah that is the front well I love it outside as well yes yeah, bit a bit crazy here on my desk we're uh, in the middle of so many things I can't tell you it's always the same on Sunday um so this is the Laura Ashley uh, wallpaper, if you remember, that I got from Tanya and that inside. And this is going to be my ideas book. It's going to be gorgeous on the shelf. It's going to be the biggest one, <laughs> the biggest journal I've got on, on the shelf, apart from my ring bound, um, uh, you know, planners that I did. So 
I managed to get that. This book belongs to in the front of here off that um, um, colouring book. Some of those. I think you saw those when I did the coffee dye, didn't you? I added those since. I've put two two of my digital coffee dyes that I can't really share with anybody. And they're a bit bright. Well, I don't know. Maybe they're not a bit bright. But the ones when I was showing you, and I went a bit crazy. I don't usually make them quite that bright. Um, yeah, I've got some of my lovely fairy book pages in. I'm pleased to say so. You know, like, I won't put anything on her. <laughs> but I will hang something on here. Oops, that's not it. On here, on the back of it. I love this um, Liberty book. This page particularly, look, because it's like a, it's a collage. <laughs> Who'd have thought? So that's Henry Terry. This is, I can't remember what book this was called. I've forgotten now. Something Flora. This is the second half, obviously. So, yeah, I'll probably put something on there because we've just got the, the fairies. <laughs> Oh, I'm there because I've got a caterpillar, I didn't realise. Yeah, the fairy's body with no head. Not much use, really, <laughs> image-wise. I love that black and white picture of the, the ship. I just, rather than cut some off, I folded that over. I'll glue it down and then I'll be able to just put in there. Um, so these were drop papers, if you remember. I used them as drop papers on the coffee dyeing table. Yeah, so I'll be able to keep these, you know, when I do like the, um, oh, they're all behind me, I'm not going to reach, the uh, 12 by 12 things, you know, that are meant to be stuck in front and back covers, I can pop some in there. Okay, and we've got faces showing there, so that's fine. I'll put something on that, but the bodies, the faceless bodies, I'll probably cover over. And like that, because that's just the top of a, the picture of the boat. Bit bizarre, loving the Liberty pages definitely. I've only just um, separated them, so they're, they're on the floor, I think. Are they on the floor? Oh no, they're on the table at side of me. It's not much on the floor actually, well, that's surprising. <laughs> they're on the table at side of me, <clears throat> waiting to be folded and put in the box. Now, I what have I got in here? I have got, I've got five signatures and I ended up with 12 pages in each one, so that's 60. Yeah, so I've got 60 pages here. That's nearly a book, isn't it? 60 pages, wouldn't you think? You know, one that you cut up. <laughs> so, yeah, I've got a little... I've got room in my uh, in my pot for probably 50 because 10 of them came out of the cupboard. I'm just going fast through it so you can see it. Why have you not... Oh, you have got two. You're that one. I was going to say, why aren't there two of those? Yeah, face is fine. Oh, and that one's all right as well. That's quite good. Both the legs must be the other side. So I've put a page of each of the things you see in, in each signature. So a fairy page, a colouring page, a cunard page, a Henry Terry page. You get it now. You don't want me to say it again, do you? And two, two dyed, coffee dyed, over the top pages. Love that one. I had to put that one in the middle. That's what the book's called, The Liberty Home. If you're loving it and looking for it. Roses and butterflies, July. Even if I didn't put anything in this, I would love just looking through it. Love that book. I <laughs> love that fairy book. Oh, see, this lady's got, I'll probably leave that. I know her head's got off, but you can see that it's uh, advertising and this lady's on it here. Another fairy just got a head. Oh, I did an advertising poster with a chap. Chap's head. Yeah, love it. Put the door in the middle so you could see the whole thing, the secret door. How lovely to not be a junk journaler and to receive something like this, I think, in my opinion. And, you know, to... You know, just have one because we have so many, don't we, as makers? But to just have one and doing it, whatever you do, would be just lovely, wouldn't it? I think now, you know, if I'd received that and never heard of junk journaling before, it might take me a little while thinking, well, it's a bit strange, but I think I'd, I'd yeah, I'd love it. 
Okay, so I'll be back later. I better stop. Um, I was going to tell you something. I'm sure I was going to tell you something. It's gone now anyway. Good job I'm coming back on later. Okay, see you soon. Hello. Here I am at the other side of my desk. Um, so you get a, a different view of the room. Um, so it's Sunday evening. Another um, hour, hour and a half. Neil will be home. So, yeah, need to get, get finished up in here and uh, go down and get him some tea ready. So um, you can't see much of the desk, can you? When the phone's facing this way, the opposite way, I um, I can't make the screen, you know, I can't zoom in and out. Um, but I need it this way to see if I'm, <laughs> if I'm on film or not. So, um, yeah, the view is what the view is at the moment. I'm learning. I'm learning all the time. So um, I told you I'd show you this. I hope, uh, I hope it's a good enough <laughs> peeping around it. Good enough view of it. I'm absolutely in love with it. It's heavy ish, quite heavy. It's quite big. Um, I showed you the inside earlier. Nothing, nothing any different on the inside, but yeah, really pleased with that. That snippet roll on there. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, what else am I up to today? So I was going to this week go through some of my um, vintage ephemera and maybe yeah, show you what I was doing. Bring, ooh, bring you along for some of it. All I've got out at the moment are my postcards. I have got three smallish, medium to small size boxes of ephemera um, that I want to go through. There is uh, there's ration books, uh, birth certificates, letters, railway, working things, all sorts of photos, all sorts of things I've collected over the last three years. So um, yeah, I need to get a mountain uh yeah sort through them and i thought you might have a look but i just i just haven't got there that's one of those things that's going to be put on on to next week so um yeah other than that we did the two journals i've got the two saturday journals um sat here one with the bells on sorry and this one from yesterday um so we're going to be filling those um in the week on on the vlog um if you're watching this the day it comes out it'll be monday so tomorrow tuesday i will be working on um the that's way in the draw the kit from tanya um the journal that i'm on at the moment what's it called um uh, it's on the tip of my tongue anyway <laughs> you're probably shouting it at me um um, um no it's so annoying when it's just there and you can't think of it anyway that journal i'll be working on it tuesday wednesday thursday um so I need to fill these in, you know, off screen or on the vlog, as it were. Um, thank you for those of you that bought the snippet rolls and the papers. Um, I have put one more pack of papers in the shop. Whether they've gone or not by the time you see this, I don't know. But yeah, I've been I've been chuffed um, about that. I think that's all I've got to tell you. I won't be in my room all tomorrow because we're going to Mum's for the day, doing a bit of gardening, um, visiting some shops. I, th I think I told you on today's video sunday's video that um i'd got some stuff from the auction house as well been on an online auction so i'll be collecting that tomorrow so I'll, I'll share that with you as well but for now this is me i hope you've enjoyed the different view um i have tidied up a little bit because i bought a couple of vintage portable typewriters not the big old lovely black ones but you know vintage typewriters so i need somewhere to put them um and this this big cupboard this big built-in cupboard over the stairs and now is now a mess it's it needs going through so maybe that's something we we can do together <laughs> okay let me know if there's anything in particular you'd like to see on the vlogs and um have a lovely weekend no the weekend's gone it's still the weekend here for me <laughs>